Well, you'll have to go back to 1937, 36, 37. I used to go to Germany as a boy. I loved them, I really did. I was tremendously impressed by the Germans. Lots of aeroplanes in the sky, which is tremendously impressive to a chap age 17, 16, 17. So that when I fought the chaps in fighters and bombers, they were the same chaps that I met on the ground in Germany. I had no animosity, and uh, the ones we'd shot down and met as captives and, and they charming fellows. There was no bad feelings, and I don't think any of the pilots had any bad feelings because the bloke in that thing with crosses on was only doing the same job as they were for another firm. Well, when you're a young pilot, when you're a young man, you don't think to yourself, what have you done? Have you killed a man? You just thought, I've brought down an enemy plane. I shot at aircraft. I didn't shoot at people. You don't think about the person in it. You can't see him. You're not in close contact with him at all. Once in a while, though, a pilot might glimpse another human being. When I shot a bloke down over the sea, um, he was flying all very close over the sea, and I hit him. And uh, I saw his wheels come down and his hood come off and his engine stopped. And I couldn't have shot him any more than that. It just wasn't in me to sh go on shooting at him. So I stopped shooting and flew up alongside him. And uh, knowing that he was going to have to crash in the sea, I sort of wished him luck. In fact, I should have shot him down, because he was rescued by his own side. And he came back and shot more of our chaps down. So really, I should have done so. But I couldn't bring myself to do it. It wasn't, it wasn't in me to do it. However, as the battle continued, rumours started circulating about much darker goings on. There was a big battle one day, and we were all watching, of course, and a parachute came out, and we recognised it was from one of our own aeroplanes. And to our horror, a German came in and shot him to pieces on the way down. There are a number of incidents on both sides where it was reported that pilots were deliberately shot at. Very few of those can actually be confirmed. One of the few cases uh, which can be confirmed is of German pilots who were deliberately attacked when on parachutes by one RAF squadron, uh, the Poles. Poland had suffered far greater brutality at German hands than even France had, and it showed. The Poles were fighting a different war. They were fighting the Eastern War, a no-holds-barred war. They'd seen Warsaw burn. Their country was occupied. They didn't know what had happened to their relatives. Their relatives might already have been carted off. And whilst the British were out to shoot down aeroplanes, the Poles were out to kill Germans, and whether they were in the aeroplanes or out of them was neither here nor there to them. Well, we were very united. We just hated the, the enemy, and then all we wanted is to, is, to, is to get at him and shoot him. The two pilots, I think a lot of us had more respect for than anybody else, were both Poles, Joe Klein and Slugowski. When nobody else would fly, they wanted to. And that middle wallet one day, it was a pea super. The birds were walking. And over came a jerry, and we could hear it above this lot, buzzing the field. We didn't know whether he was going to just buzz off or drop some it. And these two, these two poles were out and into the cockpit, screaming and shouting at the CO to let him go. No, no, no. And off he went back inside to the ground crew, psh, psh, away, and off they went into this fog, they hadn't gone 10 yards, they disappeared. But they got airborne, there were no runways, they knew there were nothing in front of them for at least half a mile except two hangars, and they were airborne. And they disappeared. The CO was biting lumps out of everything. And then we heard this Jerry come over, I mean, they were most distinctive sound Jerry's. We heard him come over, and immediately behind it, two Spitfires, and they were fi both firing at it, there were bullets everywhere. 
you know, and they shot it down. And when they landed, were they in trouble? But that's why we liked them. They were there to do a job, and nothing was going to stop them. The Poles were brilliant. They have their, their glory to fight for, and then we have our survival to fight for.